Isaiah 39. Well, Hezekiah was terminally ill. God wanted to end his life. But Hezekiah gets into dialogue with God and says, oh, please don't do that. Please give me a bit longer. God says, oh, OK, I'll give you 15 years. And in those 15 years, Hezekiah turns away from God. And at the end of this chapter, when God speaks judgment against him, he says, this is going to come in the days of your son. He says, well, all right, that's, <laughs> that's not bad. I'm going to have peace in my days for my 15 years or whatever I've got left. And you think, what a sad ending. And all sorts of questions arise. Maybe he would have done better to have died when God told him to die, rather than want to keep on living and then fall away. So you see, there is a huge lesson here, that there is an eternity that we may miss. And to be feared more than death itself is turning away from faith. Really, fear that more than death itself. Accept death when it comes. Your number is going to come up, and it will come up. You see the tragedy of the short-termist view. Did Hezekiah have such a wonderful time in his last 15 years? I doubt it. He would have got old and then realised, well, I can't ask for any more time. Oh dear, my 15 years is up. 15 years isn't very long. It's gone in a moment. How did Hezekiah feel as he came to the end of his 15 years? Well, I've had my chips and that's it. And it wasn't that great either. This is how the thinking person has to feel at the end of their lives. Well, I had my chips. I played the game, but it's game over. And the game has to finish. Whereas for us, death is just a sleep. And it's just a, a moment. The next waking moment, we know, is eternity. When the Lord Jesus has returned and we are resurrected from the dead. So don't be short-term, it's like Hezekiah, and think, oh, well, yeah, I'll just have my chips now and enjoy them. For one thing, you won't enjoy them, really. And secondly, they're gone in a moment, and you're back to your same question. I don't want to die. Yeah, well, you're going to have to. The only way to live is in hope of the resurrection, is in life with God, is in relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, who loved me and gave himself for me so that I might live forever.